So I was just really on that path that I thought we had to live. <laughs> you know, get conditioned, try and get your best marks, get the best job. I got myself a job in one of the top four law firms and was trying to tick all these boxes, right? Mm. And I found myself overworked, over-functioning and nothing left for myself mm. and trying to still be this present mum but I felt like I just couldn't do anything properly or well mm. and my health was really suffering. I was constantly getting sick. I would be getting tonsillitis after tonsillitis. Uh, my pelvis, I had a problem there. I was, couldn't walk it sometimes. I literally couldn't walk my legs. I had to be on a Zimmer frame during a pregnancy. That was because I did a stupid thing and did the splits when I was pregnant, <laughs> but I didn't heal very well. <laughs> from that um, but it continued to really cause me a lot of a lot of problems and so yeah I had a wake-up call where it was just one morning and I was really struggling my kid needed this medical attention and we we're trying to get this stuff working and I was just crying and he wasn't cooperating my other kid wasn't cooperating and all I was thinking is I don't have time to be here I have got to be back at work and I've got people in my team and we've got deadlines and I've got to get all this stuff done and it was just like, I just got this slap from the universe. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Wake up. Mm -hmm. And I was just this messy, crying kind of person. And I was like, that's it. All right, <laughs> that's it. I've got to get back to connect with myself because I'd always been interested in spirituality. I'd read a lot. I'd, I mean, I'd already done my Qigong training at that point and done some kinesiology and a num Reiki and I'd, always read about this stuff mm. but I wasn't walking the talk and I'd forgotten I'd forgotten my way I'd gone off I'd fallen off the path so I just was falling off path and I got back in touch with my journaling meditation I'd done for partial meditation but in busy life we just get distracted mm. and I just wasn't doing it in my daily life hence the overwhelm and so I got back in touch with that and I went actually to a shaking meditation class mm -hmm. with one of my best friends, Janie Martino, and we were shaking around and just dancing about and it was ha I was having fun and I had this unbelievable experience, nothing that I'd ever had before where my body started to move around by itself and my arms were doing these systematic movements and flicking and shoulders were going and all this and it was really quite full on. Mm -hmm. And I was having images of people in my life, like things coming out. It was like I was doing this full purification work. Mm -hmm. And it was, yeah, quite, <laughs> quite out there. And so then over the coming weeks, what I experienced was similar things, but I'd just be at my desk <laughs> and my arms would start flicking about by themselves. And I was having to like pull them in. And so, oh, hi, like pretending I'm waving at people. <laughs> And over the coming weeks, I, I just that. had more and more things. My things were moving around. My body was moving around without me doing it. And I was a little bit kind of scared. I thought I'm being taken over by something. I wasn't, but equally I was calm. And that culminated in the washing line experience, which mm -hmm. was in March, 2012, when it was just a normal day. I'm just hanging out the washing, hills hoist in Melbourne and Suddenly I have this experience where my voice starts talking to me, but I'm not controlling it. And I have these sounds coming through my voice and this kind of washed over with this energy. And this voice starts using my voice saying, I am, I am, I am, I am. And it's like uh, probably 30 times, just I am, I am. And then finally comes through go anger and i was like whoa what is this and go anger who describes himself as my father spirit guide since in three of uh, later conversations explained that he was what's called an ascended master uh explained that his role was to help me to remember who i am who i truly am and to help others to remember who they are who they truly are and to help people specifically around energy, the laws of energy. I don't know if he used that language, the laws of energy. And I can't remember exactly what else he shared, but it was basically just some key things that have brought me the most peace, which is that we are magnificent spiritual <laughs> beings. We are eternal. We never die. 
and we are here on this planet for a purpose. Mm -hmm. And so I had that experience, which was really out there. And then over the coming weeks, I had a number of other experiences like that with other guides coming through, different personalities, different names, different mannerisms. And so the lawyer in me was like, what is this? I need the evidence. Mm -hmm. And so I went and got a video camera, old school video camera, and I started recording these channelings that I didn't know were channelings because I didn't know what channeling was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'd only seen Ghost, the movie Ghost with Whoopi Goldberg. Mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. That's all I'd seen. I'd never seen anyone channel. I didn't know this was a thing. It was something that was possible for humans to communicate with dimensions beyond our planet. Uh, so, yeah, over the coming weeks, I had more and more experiences like that. And for six years, I shared this information with about six trusted close people mm. and it really took me a long time to come out of the spiritual closet for just so many reasons i i get it um because you're a, it's not you're a highly educated woman in a profession like law and this mm. was even when i think 2012 so that's eight years ago things were very different, you know, things have come along so much, there's a lot more acceptance and openness and desire to, and also like there's a, more of a knowing and awakening that there is something greater. Um, yes. So what I would, I, I love that, 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 that the purpose was to actually connect you to who you truly are. And so do you think that we are all truly the same? Ultimately, at the ultimate level, my understanding and also i guess i also want to say i guess the legal disclaimer part of me for your viewers is i'm just sharing what i know to be true for me so in sharing this i also i guess want to put my legal disclaimer on things which is that i'm just sharing my knowing and my experience and what i believe to be true but for everyone i always want people to be their own scientists and for your viewers like to Try things on with what I'm sharing. And does that feel good? Does that feel true in your, in your bones, right? So ultimately, in answer to your question, I believe, I know for me, that we are all one collective energy. However, we are appearing separate, separate or separated uh, in individualized form on this planet right now as learning opportunities for us to see different things in different people and have different experiences and have all these different various aspects of our one self mm. separated out. And an analogy that came to me in the shower the other day was it's like a bar of chocolate and you can see all the little squares of chocolate and they look individualized and you snap them off and you can separate them. But if you warm them up, like if you heat up our vibration, if we really increase our vibration to a level that's closer to our truest form, then we all just melt into this delicious, oozy liquid oh. together. together. <laughs>